Hello guys, I am officially back. Um, now for those who have stuck around, thank you so much. Um, it means the world to me, especially um, since I've been so sporadic and AWOL basically um, across my journey on here. Um, but with this being said, I'm so excited to be back just because I am at a point in my life that I finally feel comfortable not only speaking in front of the camera, but also there's so much that has changed that I want to share my experiences not only as like like a human being, but also um, as a mother, as like a woman, and also um, a working woman. So yeah, that's what I plan to share on this channel. Um, more of my life as a working mom. I work part time for a um, you know corporate um, insurance company that is amazing. And luckily today I got off early, so I was able to film a video. Anyways, so with this being said, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back, welcome to everyone that is new. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video. It means the world to me, just because I know that time is important, and of course, you are, um, you know, taking the time to watch this video. So thank you again. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. It helps me a lot. And if you wanna continue with my journey, go ahead and hit the subscribe button that would mean even more um it honestly means the world for me for everyone that takes the time to view my videos but anyways yeah let's get started for all of um the new faces on here um welcome welcome my name is zelda um of course i am a 26 year old mother of two um but i'm not just a mom i'm also a working um, woman. Um, I work part-time, like I mentioned earlier, and I am married, but not married. Um, we haven't made it, like, official. We've been together on and off for, um, officially, like, over 10 years. Um, I'll go into that later on, but we are one happy family. Um, but, yeah, I am Zelda. And welcome to my channel. And today I'm gonna talk about why I quit social media. Now you're probably wondering why um, I'm even making a video on this and posting it on YouTube because that is considered social media. But um, I'm mostly, um, you know, referring to Instagram, Facebook, you know, all those, um, basically those. Um, those very popular, um, you know, social media uh, companies and applications, you know. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is a story of why I quit social media. Now, um, as you know, I'm 26, so I definitely grew up around, like, the era of, like, when the internet basically, like, exploded. Um, basically, I was able to not only search for anything, find anything, you know, um, basically, I had the whole world on a little screen. So, um, I decided to use that as my outlet. So, I started off, you know, with good old, like, MySpace. And then, um, you know, um, well, I have to say, it first started off with, like, Hotmail um, and MSN. <laughs> but, uh, it started off with MySpace. And then, here comes along Facebook and um, at this time I was like a preteen and then I was a teenager so that that was like my go-to and then also there was like Tumblr so as you know um, those OG Tumblr um, lovers um, I was right there with you Tumblr used to be like a great place to escape um, and then everything changed but um, that's what happens People have to grow, sites grow, companies grow, and stuff, and they implement new things, and it's not always going to be um, everyone's, you know, cup of tea. But anyways, let's go on with me branching on to Instagram. Now, before I became a mom, I did have an Instagram. I didn't really take it seriously. I didn't have, like, a lot of followers. I had, like, under, 
I want to say 500 followers um, and then uh, I didn't really think much of it I just knew that I like to share like what I was doing like makeup wise and just random things I was I was uh, you know I was a young adult and sharing my life of you know partying and you know things that for me now don't really matter but um, whenever I became a mom I found that Instagram and Facebook had a community of other moms that I honestly thought was the best thing. Um, I found many, many friendships um, across this platform and I mean like Facebook now owns Instagram so it's one platform and everything and I got so many great opportunities but also it took me away from who I truly was and like my view on myself and the world and such there was a lot of pressure on what I should look like according to a platform like that how should I you know reflect on myself if that makes sense it was very very materialistic and very unrealistic um, for me and it took me years to really kind of like wake up and realize like what am I doing like um, this this platform is nothing but like not only added stress but it takes away time from spending with my kids it makes me not value what's in front of me and always wanting like more and not saying that like wanting more is bad but also that platform is not what it is you know it, it really is just like basically just targeting people to buy more and more and more it just became something that I wasn't agreeing upon and honestly it took me very very long up until three years ago not three years ago what am I saying three months ago I decided to quit Instagram and quit Facebook um, now with this being said I saw Facebook Messenger because most of my family is on there so I, I definitely still use that every once in a while but I am not okay with you know security purposes and such because I'm not okay with other you know other platforms also recording every single thing that is going on in my life so they could target you you know but that's how people make money that's how companies make money but either way um Instagram and Facebook were basically like toxic to me it was hurting me um I would always wonder like why am I not like um this like famous Instagrammer her body's amazing she has amazing children you know how do they like make so much money and stuff and you know for like I want to say <coughs> for I want to say like for a solid two years um I took Instagram like a business um, I met so many other people and I created new connections that I even was able to, you know, um, get free things and review things and such, but it wasn't actually like a, a revolving revenue, a revolving income that I was okay with and it was honestly, um, I feel like also the platform was, it's just not for me I wasn't getting anything out of it especially um, when I look back today I was just wasting time I was just carelessly wasting my time to seem busy to distract me to what was actually important and that was like enjoying like motherhood you know and motherhood is hard I'll go in a deeper video some other time but yeah, um, Instagram basically like ruined me um, up until I decided to simply get rid of it. And I didn't even tell anyone. I just told my family because um, that's in case they needed to get in contact with me. I don't have like an Instagram anymore and such. Um, so now I feel so much better. I created a blog post yesterday on my website, zellydaily.com, if you want to see like the more in-depth um, reason why I quit social media, um, go ahead and take a look 
at my website. Um, it's the most current blog post. It's called Why I Quit Social Media. Um, but honestly, I look back and I am so happy that I actually was able to pull myself aside and kind of like, kind of wake up and disconnect myself from the toxicity, toxicity of the platform. So, I'm not saying that that platform is nothing but bad, but for me, I got nothing out of it. Nothing of value, nothing um, that could better my life. So that's why I ultimately quit social media, even Facebook. It was just negative after negative things, and I, I don't want to see that. Whenever I want to, you know, um, reach out to different people or just like browse the internet, I don't want to see negative media. And in today's world, it's just negative. Um, it's like you're being like brainwashed and stuff. I feel like I'm like Charlie from um, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia because quite literally, um, nothing is really real anymore. And that's kind of like the disadvantage of like how, you know, technology has advanced, you know? And it's so easy to like get wrapped up in the like the false reality of things of like how to live your life and stuff like that because honestly in that little picture that little box is only what they want you to see and it's not the reality um like half the time i would like hide everything i was not only hiding like my emotions to the point that i was just like lying to people because i was like in an unhealthy relationship i was like doing really bad and I wanted to like I don't know like show people a different side of me that wasn't real and I just couldn't go through with it anymore like I'm I wasn't okay and um I just couldn't take it anymore so I quit and and now again I look back and I'm just like I'm so happy I quit because honestly now I have so much more time in my day to be more productive not just like simply like scrolling on my phone and such um you know i have a purpose in life which is like not <laughs> like just endlessly scrolling giving myself false hope and pressure and stress and you know false reality and everything so that's why i quit social media and i encourage you to to take a step back and see if you need to like pause your social media you know deactivate it um you know simply log off delete the app and such um i encourage you to at least try it to disconnect yourself from technology because honestly like i feel like us as humans we need one-on-one -on -one interaction but like real human interaction it's really hard during like this pandemic that everything now like we're relying so much on technology like you have go to meetings you have you know um team meetings you have zooms and stuff like that especially if you're in the work environment or even like simply calling your family via messenger so everything has now turned into you know a digital platform and i think as humans like this is my opinion we crave attention, we need, we need acceptance, we need, um, like, to feel included, and we fear rejection, you know, and that's why, um, all these social media platforms and stuff, like, they give you that, like, 10 seconds of attention, and then you're left with nothing, so it's like, I wasn't finding any contentment, self-value, or anything with these platforms, again, you might love it and such. Again, I met so many wonderful people online um, that, like, it, it just, it was awesome, you know? Um, but now, I just don't focus on that. I don't have the app. I, I don't have to worry about, like, honestly, like, looking a certain way and stuff because I'm personally so happy where I'm at today. Um, and not only am I, like, um, growing in like, um, you know, like, in like development and stuff like that, I am also making my life count. So like, for example, God forbid I die, I like I'm laying on my deathbed tonight, right? 
God forbid. I like knock on wood, I'm not. <clears throat> I don't want to like die knowing I didn't make the best out of my life. I want to like know that like you know what? I had a really good life. You know, I am very satisfied with how I lived my life and what I did to like impact others and impact myself and stuff. Um, I think a lot of people have lost their way on, you know, um, finding their purpose in life. And you know, this also comes in relationship with like religion, which I will make a, a separate video on that because like truly, like I am now like a religious person. Um, but it's what works for me might not work for you but it's my uh way of you know therapy you know and um honestly like that's my life and everything but yeah with this being said that's why i quit social media and i never looked back because honestly like i really don't have to share anything with others um it's my life I can do whatever I want I don't need others approval or acceptance I don't need that and I'm so happy that you know I finally disconnected myself from that because I want to show my children that there is more to life than a digital screen and that's so important I personally want to raise my children on you know knowing like that self-value is not from platforms you know what I mean like you I don't know how to explain it but it's important that children today know that like technology does not define a person for example technology is amazing it's advanced so much <sighs> But, honestly, there's also disadvantages to it. So, yeah. That is my story. Um, sorry that I keep coughing. I'm getting over a cold. I don't have COVID. Um, but, yeah, that's my story on how, you know, I quit social media. And, of course, I have LinkedIn just because, like, career development. And then I use Pinterest for, you know, recipes. But that's simply it and then I feel like so much better I honestly don't even know like new music and like what's really going on in the world just because I choose not to do that because I I refuse to soak up that negativity because I don't want it to you know stress me out and it's not that I'm avoiding you know responsibility or anything but I don't need media to tell me about all these like cases and like things that are happening that are horrible in the world and everything so I don't need that so yeah that that is exactly why I stopped using like social media so if you like this video go ahead and give it a like and subscribe that really helps me out a lot and um, let me know your like thoughts and comments on you know social media and how like the platform is working for you or if it doesn't. Um, I just wanted to share like my experience on why I quit social media. Um, I thought it would be like interesting for others, and I know many others can relate to this topic just because um, honestly, technology has advanced so much and the like, platforms have changed so frequently um even today i honestly don't even know um on all the updates with like instagram and such but i like being like out of the loop just because i don't want to be like sucked into like a false um reality of a filtered edited picture but yeah let me know what you think I'd love to hear from you, and if you really like this video, please give it a like. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It really means the world to me, and of course, like I said earlier, um, you could find my more detailed blog post on my website, zellydaily.com. 
All right, guys, up until next time, see you later.